Hi guys, we're here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I got the update this morning for the new firmware 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. There's a notification that should have shown up on the phone. If it hasn't shown up for you, I'll show you how to check to see what firmware you're running and whether there's an update available for you. So we'll start off by unlocking the phone. And you should notice right off the bat, there's a little icon in the uh, corner there which basically tells me that my firmware has been downloaded already. If yours hasn't, don't panic, it's pretty easy to find. You're just gonna swipe down the task bar here. As you can see, my software update has been postponed because I wanted to make a video showing it. Uh, you'll go up to the little gear cog, which is your settings. Once you're in your settings menu, it should be up at the top. You'll scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says about device You can click on that. And in this menu, you can see what your current firmware version is. In my case, Android 4.1.1. Apologize for the uh, focus issues. My camera is not cooperating today at all. So you'll see that you have 4.1.1. You're going to want to go up to where it says software update. You can check Wi-Fi only depending on your data plan. You don't usually want to be downloading firmware files over the network unless you have a large data allotment like six gig or something like that auto update that basically my phone downloaded the firmware at 4 30 in the morning without me knowing because that was checked so if that's not checked or if you don't see the notification for the update you can touch update check for updates so this one says previous update package downloaded uh, do you want to install it now one very important thing that I want to stress before you load any type of firmware updates is you're going to want to make a backup of your phone to Samsung keys on your computer. There have been in rare cases firmware updates that have messed up people's phones and they've had to do a system restore and in turn they've lost everything that they've had. So I'm going to hit later. We're going to go on to the computer. I'm going to show you real quick how to back your phone up and then we're going to come back and finish the update. Stand by. All right, we're on the computer now. My phone is plugged in and ready to go. I'm going to back the phone up onto the computer, but I'm not going to do the firmware update with Samsung keys. I've uh, done it before using that software and I've had mixed results, so I'm not entirely impressed with it. So once I back my phone up, I'm going to update the firmware just on the phone itself. We'll switch back to the external camera. So launch keys. Hopefully, if it recognizes everything properly, your phone should pop up, which it looks like it is. This is going to give you a prompt right off the bat that says there's a firmware upgrade. You don't have to listen to it again. I'm going to do mine on my phone, as I've already stated, so just cancel it. In order to back up the contents of your phone, you're going to click on the Backup Restore tab at the top. Then you have all your options of things that you want to back up on your phone. So... I'm going to go through and select my contacts. My S Planner is automatically going to take S Note along with it because they're kind of linked one and the same. My messages I want backed up and call logs. Now, as far as my music is concerned, as well as photos, uh, there's two reasons I'm not going to back those up. One, my music is stored on my computer's hard drive, so if my phone were to crash, I can just re-download the music from there. There's no point making this backup file bigger than it needs to be. And the second reason is it is stored on an external memory card on the phone. So if, again, the operating system were to crash or something were to go wrong, it probably shouldn't affect my music, my photos, or my videos because those are on a micro SD card. So you can back them up if you want to. It's just going to take much longer depending on how much you have. Miscellaneous content files, you're going to want those your preferences, your network settings, and your email account information. So once that is selected, you've picked the things that you want backed up, you just hit the magic backup button. Now I've already done this before making the video, so I'm not going to click it again because that's redundant. Once the backup is complete, you're going to head back to basic information. If you do want to upgrade your firmware through this program, good luck to you. I haven't been so fortunate with keys in the past. 
but you would basically just hit the firmware upgrade button. It would download the firmware and theoretically it would install smoothly. So uh, do it at your own risk. I don't like the software very much. So I'm going to return back to the phone and we'll proceed. All right, we're back at the phone. It has been backed up to my desktop computer. So if anything should go wrong during this update process, I don't have to panic because in theory, everything should be backed up. So we're gonna unlock the phone again and we can just drag the top menu down. You can see software update postponed. Go ahead and click that guy. So this says the previous update package has been downloaded. You want to install it now. Um, obviously don't use your device while you are installing a firmware update and don't allow anything to interrupt this update because bad, terrible, awful, nasty things can happen. Um, go ahead and hit install. So it's going to reboot the device to start. You got your little Android guy. At the bottom, you're going to have your status. Just letting you know how long until... I don't know why I can't get that to focus, but anyway. It says 28%. That's my cat. She loves Android phones. All right, here we go, still updating. Time for the big reveal. It's just looking up a change list online of what exactly is included in this update. Looks like it's fairly limited. Uh, you get multi-view, which we were supposed to have on the Note 2 back at launch. And I think there's Chinese language support, which is useless to me. See what happens. Okay, well we got all of our stock prompts it looks like back. So uh, now we're gonna have all these prompts just like you bought the phone brand new you're probably gonna have to set things back up to how you had them. Um, quickest way to find out if this worked properly swipe down the notification bar and hit the little gear cog one more time scroll all the way down to about device and just like that Android 4.1.2 now let's check the Easter egg to see if anything's changed just out of curiosity you want to multi-tap Android 4.1.2, there's Jellybean. Click and hold the happy little guy and he blows up. And you have all your jelly beans flying around. Anyway, I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but every version of Android has a little Easter egg hidden in the firmware version menu. So let's get out of that, enough with that. I guess this is the moment of truth. Does multi-view work. Well, you're supposed to be able to hold backspace. And there it is, multi-view. Multi-window, sorry, wrong jargon here. So there's your list of programs. So say you want your Facebook open, let's go to something that's not as personal. Internet. Click and drag, boom, internet opens. Now I want to open, say, uh, let's just say video player, why not? Click that, and you can choose which side of the screen you want it to go on. And there's my videos. Most of them about my dog. Neat. And then of course, um, you can play the videos. Tab on the side will bring back up the menu bar. Another thing I just found out is obviously you hold the back button to get multi-window to pop up. 
and you have your little tray icon down here that you can press and it pops out. To get rid of that, you can just click and hold the back button again, it disappears. Uh, anyway, leave a comment below. If you have a note too, let me know what you think of it. And you can subscribe to my channel if you like. See you guys next time. Thanks.